Now we're going to learn about uh, the two main types of strings in Rust. <clears throat> it actually has uh, a few more than this, but uh, mostly you'll be just uh, using these ones. There's a, so there's string with a capital S, and then there's a uh, <clears throat> this ampersand stir. Um, usually people will pronounce it uh, stir, just so that you know which one you're talking about. Uh, this one is also uh, called a string slice. And uh, these, uh, this is the one that we've been using up to now. So when you do, when you do this, you put uh, you know some characters <clears throat> inside a quote. That's the type of it. It's not, uh, it's not a string with a capital S. Uh, that's because uh, you know these uh, these stirs are really fast. These are uh, just. Uh, views into the uh, into the data you th that's why you use the uh, the reference uh, you don't own it whereas a uh, an actual string with a capital s it's more like a, uh, <clears throat> a structure that holds uh, that holds the the data and it gives you some more functions uh, it's a little bit slower and it uh, it has the data on the heap so that's the uh, the big difference between the two uh, and uh, yeah, one, uh, and you can see the, the reason why you need to use a reference for a stir is because the uh, you need to know the, the size. Rust needs to know the size, and it doesn't know the size of a string. Like this string is one size, and then if you add some more characters to it, it's a different size, and it doesn't know. So what you do is you give it this reference, and it knows the size of the reference, and then it can uh, use that to look at the data that is... Uh, that is uh, elsewhere. And these are both, uh, you know, everything in Rust, well, these two types anyway, are UTF-8. So you can put these, uh, you can put this Korean name, Sauteji, in there. That's, uh, that's a Korean musician, and that's fine. And uh, so this is a, a stir. And then uh, this is our first look at a string. And we have the, the guy's name again, Adrian Fawinite Sepish. And this is uh, this is the main way that you create a string. Uh, actually, there are two main ways. So uh, you do a string from, and then you type type your stuff inside of there. And then another way that you can do this is you take uh, actually let's uh, let's bring sauteg in here. So let's say we want to make him into a string with a capital S. Then you do this. You can do a uh, two string, and this will also do the same thing. So it uh, it depends on uh, which one you you prefer to use at the time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and here I have an example showing you of uh, showing you how the uh, the size works. So this uh, okay, this looks kind of complicated, but it's just uh, it's just some simple functions. Uh, let's uh, bring this down so we can see it. So these are. You can see these look almost the same, but they're not quite the same. So you have um, over here in uh, we have these functions here where we can uh, we can see the size in bytes of something. Uh, you have the uh, size of, which uh, returns the type the size of a type, and then size of val, and this says uh, returns the size of the pointed to value. So this is what you use for uh, for um, when you have a reference and you want to see the uh, the size of the thing you're pointing to, but uh, size of shows you the the size of a type. And uh, <clears throat> when you have something like a string, you always know the uh, the size of the type because uh, uh, because this is the the part that's on the stack that points to the heap. And then uh, we always know an i8 is always eight uh, eight bits, which is uh, which is one byte, and so on. And let's run this and see what uh, what we get. <clears throat> so you can see a string is always uh, 24 bytes. It is sized. So we know the size. It's always the same. Same thing for an i8. 
it's sized, this is sized, but a, uh, a stir can be anything. So you can see Sauteji here is nine bytes. And then uh, Adrian Fahrenheit Sepesh is uh, 25 bytes. So uh, a stir is uh, you know always a, always a different size depending on uh, how long it is, um, the characters inside it and so on. Um, that's right. And then here you can see the two ways to uh, to make a string that we saw. This is a uh, you know string from, and then there's uh, take your text and then do a to string. This one, uh, the format macro, this is also really uh, really useful when you need to. Uh, let's say you have you know all these um, all these curly brackets, and you're bringing in some variables. the uh, The easiest way to make a string is to use this format macro. And this is the second macro we've uh, we've learned, and uh, it's 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 kind of like a print line, except uh, it doesn't print. It just makes a string for you, and then you uh, and then you can uh, do whatever you want with it. But the um, this won't print anything yet. So let's uh, print that out together. So you can see you uh, you put. You use it just like print line, and then you put your, uh, you know, your variable names that you want to put inside these brackets after, and then it'll make it into a string for you. And then it says, uh, you know, I am Billy B. Robbie, and I come from my country, which is USA, but I live in Korea. So format is definitely a useful macro. You should uh, you should remember this. And then the last way to make a string, um, but not always a string, is uh, into. And into is, um, so you saw that uh, that a stir, it does not own its data. Uh, that's why we use the reference, but a string does. And into is just a, uh, a method that makes uh, non-owned data into, into an owned type. And sometimes, Sometimes it'll know that uh, that you want to make it into a string, but uh, sometimes it won't because let's see right here, my string. Try to make this into a string into. So what this is saying is, please make this into an owned type. But because um, there there's a few owned types that uh, you can make from uh, from a stir, Rust doesn't know which one. So uh, you'll have to tell it the type here. So into is actually, um, it's not super useful for, uh, for making strings. The, the best way is just uh, to string right now. Just remember this and then the, uh, and the string from method mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like that. But uh, the into method you'll see later on, this is really useful for, uh, for making types into owned types. So just uh, maybe not use it yet, but uh, Keep an eye on this and uh, remember the name.